Hi, I'm back. <laughs> it's almost two in the morning, but I'm back. I forgot to ask a question that I wanted to ask, so I'm going to ask that and put it up there. I'm going to ask for vice president picks for Kamala Harris. We should be finding out pretty, pretty quick. But, but we got Andy Bashirs from Kentucky, who's supposed to be on her short list. So we're going to do that first. Andy Bashir is from Kentucky. I don't think she thinks it's going to help enough. She's looking for higher ground than, than he would be. She could get along with him good. She does like him. The challenge is, I don't know, maybe different ways of thinking. But there is good energy around him, even with the with the thief card there. So I don't know what, the, what that's all about. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. You can figure it out. Because I don't know nothing about him personally. Um, and then we're going to go Pennsylvania, Josh, Josh Shapiro. From what I've seen of him, he's an older man and everybody's wanting a really young bunch to take care of there, uh, to go into there. I know that, but, but he definitely got his head on and he's got his shit together. So Josh Shapiro from... Pennsylvania. Well, he knows that he's on the list. If they're doing a deal to see who's appealing, for some reason, he seems to appeal to women, even though he's not a young man. I mean, not the child to be a young man to appeal to women, but there's something the women like about him. They also need to really, really bet him. Really, really bet him. That's the, that's the challenge. Some kind of treachery or hidden secrets. And then we got the Angel of Light and Mercy. She keeps coming up in all these. So, Justice, Winner. They might have some trouble with some things from his past, but the rest of these look good. Here's the offer. Here's the women being happy. Here's some secrets being revealed that they didn't know about. But here's the angel of light and mercy on his side. So he, his energy would help her get in. And justice and the winning card. So he could definitely, he could definitely be high in the, in the running. Looks like a, a head of um, that um, Andy Bashir from Kentucky. And now I'm going to do a... Somebody wanted me to do Pete Buttigieg. Like I said, I don't I don't think he's gonna get in there. I don't think um not right now. It's not his time. It's not his time. That's what I feel. But we'll look at it and see. So Pete Buttigieg. He's too corporate for me. Kamala was really corporate, so maybe they'd get along with each other. Women like him. A lot of women like him. This is the past. 
He's definitely hoping he's in there. He's really thinking he's got a chance in the present. Sitting there waiting for his ship to come in. He would maybe have some corporate money behind him. Look at this. It's the challenge. It's maybe Or maybe the money wouldn't be there. But he's got a world card, so he could be definitely be the pick. Just because it wouldn't be my pick doesn't mean it would, might not be the pick. So that's Pete Buttigieg. Just have to take from these cards what you can because they're hard when you're just drawing like this, whatever. It's not going to tell us who it's going to be. It might tell what the favors would be. And now let's, let's look at Mark Kelly. Uh, I like Mark Kelly. I think he would be, I think and Arizona's got a lot of, of uh, we need to take that state. It's one of the swing states. And if, I know he's in the Senate, but they have a um, Democratic governor and he gets to pick who takes the seat. So you, we know we'll get another Democrat in there. And of course we don't know who he's gonna pick, but we'll just have to hope they make a good pick. So, let's see. Mark Kelly. One more quick shuffle here. Didn't feel right. Mark Kelly. I had the winning card right off the top. He's a good talker. He'll say the right things. That's going on in the present. A lot of energy going out behind him. There'll be people at his rallies. The challenge is they're going to come after him hard. I don't know what they're going to come after him on. He used to be an astronaut and his wife was, I think Gabby, is her last name Gifford or something? Anyway, she's the one that got shot years ago. It looks like her, Kamala and Mark Kelly have a really good relationship and you do need somebody you can work with. So that, that may factor into it. That may be why it starts with the winning card. So I know I told you I was hoping he'd win and, uh, and then we got the world card on top of that. And I'm not just saying this. It, these are his, these are damn good cards if you're looking for who might win this. Uh, look, so... I'd say out of these people right here, he would win out of uh, Ken, Kentucky, Andy Beshears, Arizona, Mark Kelly, Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro. But let me read on Pete Buttigieg. I don't know if I did or not. I'm so tired. I don't know if I've already read on that since I started or not. Let's see. I don't want to have to edit this, so that's why I stopped and started this three different times. Pete Buttigieg. He's birthing a great career, but that it's birthing right now in the past. He has, this is what he's been wanting. In the present, he's got the winner's card. He could definitely be your pick. He can really talk. It's so, anybody, anything. But look at this here. It would, right now, it's just not the best choice. And I don't know if it's because of his lifestyle or what, but for some reason, it would, Even though he's corporate, it would cut some of the funds. And he would be a lot of help to her. Looky here. He could, he's going to be a help to her no matter how they do it. But with this, 
as the future for him right here, right now, I don't think it's time. He's definitely going to do something great in his lifetime, but that's not this, but I don't feel like this is it. That's just my feeling. We've got the Empress. He's been working on this for a long time and birthing this ideal. He is a winner, and he knows he's a winner. He's a good talker, but for some reason, in the future, that's a no. And there might be money put against him, maybe because of his lifestyle or something like that, even though he is like a magician. So, I don't know what to say who came out. I, it looked to me like Mark Kelly came out the strongest. I shouldn't have said I preferred him before I started reading. But I did. Anyway, um, I gotta go. Night, everybody. And thank you all again if you're watching this. Bye-bye. Remember, Lynn Tarot readings at gmail.com if you'd like a reading. And put your phone number in there.